Good morning, everyone. My name is Gabriel Munoz. I'm a student from Introduction to General Biology. Um, my professor is Professor Dahis Manzanares. And today I'm going to talk about women's science. Um, I'll see Flossie von Stahl. So, who was Flossie von Stahl? Well, she was a famous American biologist that developed research in HIV and AIDS during the 1990s. She was born as Wong Ji Xing in August 27, 1946, in Yanshu, uh, Wandong, Republic of China. Sorry for mispronouncing that. She died on July 8, 2020, in Lahore. Revolution. Concerning her studies, Flossy was particularly talented in her science courses, and that's why her professors uh, recommended her to go study college in the United States. So then she decided to apply to UCLA and got in. And in order to fit in with the country, she changed her name to After getting her doctorate's degree, she dedicated herself to postgraduate work at the University of California, San Diego. So, concerning to her research, in 1990 she was working for the National Cancer Institute. When she was contacted by UC San Diego to participate in AIDS research. At UC San Diego, she focused on gene therapy using a ribosome to repress HIV in stem cells. The protocol she developed was the second to be founded by the United States government. Her team of researchers studied the effects of the TAP protein within the viral strains of HIV-1 and what it will do to the grown cells found within Kaposi's sarcoma lesions that are commonly found in HIV patients. The result of this test show that the amount of that protein within a cell infected by HIV-1 is directly correlated to the amount of KS lesions a patient may have. These findings were essential in developing the new treatments for HIV-AIDS patients who suffer these dangerous lesions. So, among the recognitions in her life work um, in 1994, one style was named a chairman of the UC San Diego's newly created Center for AIDS Research. In the same year, she was elected to the Institute of Medicine of the United States Academics. In 2002, she retired from UC San Diego and accepted the title of Professor Emerita. She then joined Emisol a biopharmaceutical company that she co-founded with her second husband, Jeffrey McKenlin. While she was at UC San Diego as chief scientific officer, recognizing the need for improved drugs for hepatitis C, she transitioned Imusol to an HCB therapeutics focus and renamed it iTerfX Pharmaceuticals. That same year, Discovery named Wan Stahl one of the 50 most extraordinary women scientists. Wan Stahl remained as research professor of medicine at UC San Diego until her death on July 8, 2020. In 2007, the, da the Daily Telegraph heralded Wan Stahl as the 32nd of the top 100 living geniuses. For her contributions to science, 
The Institute for Scientific Information named Von Stahl the top woman scientist from, from the 1980s in 2019. She was inducted to the National Women's Hall of Fame. Thank you so much and thank you for hearing about this amazing woman with me.